so I have some good news and I have some bad news. Good news is, is that Florence continues, though I did miss an episode yesterday, and that brings in the bad news. I uh, accidentally forgot to save this save because it is not Iron Man. Generally, when I'm playing on modded campaigns, I don't play on Iron Man to allow a little bit smoother monthly transitions. It just speeds up my recording process a bit. It's not so I can cheat or anything like that, which is funny because I do get accused of that every once in a while. But uh, with that being said, I forgot to actually make a manual save uh, when I was playing in my last session. And I had a bunch of auto saves and then I overrode it when I was doing my stream recording. The good news is, is that I have caught us back up. I think I am roughly where we were before in roughly the same situation. I, uh, I fought the war to take back Naples. I fought the war to, or I integrated these guys. I fought Milan and then I used the console to steal this province and release these guys just because I could not be asked to fight these guys off camera again. So with that being said, in order to make it up to you guys, what I'd like to do today is beat up on the Ottomans um, with the intention of it reintegrating our vassals lands. Okay. And I hope that you guys are all right with that. Believe me, it's not anything that I'm very happy about. It's uh, actually something I'm quite sad about, but you know, them's the breaks. I, uh, that's the reason why we missed a, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's the reason why we missed an upload yesterday. And uh, I was quite sad about it, but uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully I can make it up to you guys. I really do hope that you are having a wonderful day. I hope that you guys are enjoying the campaign. Uh, the reason why I was considering just uh, scrapping the campaign as soon as I realized what had happened. Um, but it's just, this campaign has been performing so well that uh, I was like, you know, I, I would be doing everybody a huge disservice if I if I cut them, so cut this series short. So I decided against it. So the Ottomans have five heavies and 24 galleys. We have two heavies. One of them being our, um, whatchamacallit, our uh, thing or majigger. I think that I have a couple of British friends who will say, hey, that's a British thing. It's an American thing too. Thingamajigger or thingamajig. We say that. But uh, we need to get more galleys built up so we can destroy the Ottoman. So here's their 24 galleys with uh, no admiral. So let's get an admiral. Four fire. I'll take that. And uh, we will attack. Let's go for Corinth. We will call in Ustrike. Um, and that should be fine. Now, I am hopeful that uh, this navy will... Right, we're losing some ships. They're losing some ships. Oh, yeah, we're, we're thrashing them. We actually... Okay, that is literally perfect. That's like best case scenario right there. Very good. Now, I'm going to actually have these guys head over here with a general. Let's have these guys head over here. And uh, we need to just beat, get these guys beat up ASAP. And uh, we are going to reconquest all of uh, Byzantium's land here. And uh, I apologize. Like, I know I, w I, I would have a truce with these guys if I was doing this appropriately. Uh, but, uh, you know, I did. I dropped the ball and I am disappointed in myself. You know, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. So those guys actually don't get a monthly repair tick. So I will get a monthly repair tick. Very good. Let's actually take our heavy out and a couple of galleys that are not super damaged. Have you guys come out here and let's have our light ships get out of there. What in the heck? They just fled like instantly. Oh, that's so annoying. All right. So we have these war goals. These guys should just like get thrashed in the north. They do have a lot of men. Uh, quality eco. Okay. And I believe we can get some morale of armies. We currently have a discipline guy, which is solid. I'm definitely a little bit um, disoriented from the way things have gone. We we're caught up on tech. I uh, think we had national propaganda ideas before, and that's what I went back with. Uh, and the religious map mode does look quite a bit different. Protestantism was really strong in Germany, in northern Germany, this the first time. This time, it's really popular over in like Eastern Europe and apparently Western Europe as well, with uh, reform popping up in a couple of um, areas over here. We got Protestant, Protestant, and there's only two centers of centers of reformation for Protestant by the looks of it. It does appear so. So one of them must have gotten squished. It's fine with me. Uh, let's have these guys get up here onto the siege. Now, Byzantium, I have engineering, do I not? Yeah, so what I'm going to do here, and this is a nice little trick you can do. You can see Byzantium's in charge of the siege, and they have 15, minus 15, rather. 
But if I come over here and I say, hey, Byzantium, I want you to be passive, then you unpause for a day. I take over the siege. Uh, sadly, we are actually like right there with them. What do these guys have for their ideas? Religious, defensive, and admin. Very solid. So I will actually hand on all these provinces over to Byzantium. No reason for me to hold on to them. Very solid. I will gladly um, wait for these guys to lock in, head on over, and beat them up. That's a 3-4 general, so it should be pretty straightforward. There we go. So now what I want to do is I want to look for some better fights here. So these are the things we're going to be working on. Let's have those guys head up here. And uh, yeah, this war should basically be done. Um, it shouldn't be anything really hard for us, especially with Austria in it. We can take tech over here. It's not necessary, honestly. The combat width is nice. But uh, I would rather dev, which speaking of, take a look at that. I do really like the new median changes that they did for development. Like only the three dev provinces are like red and then, and then you got like five, six. And you can see here like Prague is 30, Florence is 42. And I bet Florence is probably the most highly dev province in the world or around there. 33, 40, 39. So you can see how uh, well we're doing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Do some manpower dev. And I have all the edicts on already. All right. And then I will dev some admin. There's, It's whatever. I don't care. At this point, it's fine. I also got a question about uh, why I selected this one. The admin possible policies. And they said, well, I thought that you don't want admin. I thought the admin is wasteful to have in excess. And uh, for development purposes, it is. And so let me explain real quick why I did this. Because I don't think I did well enough in the last or whenever I had selected. I think it was the last episode. Possible policies is this, not free policies. You can see I have two Diplo policies right now, and it's making me lose one Diplo mana per month. Possible policies allows me to have an extra one. The base is three. I have an extra one uh, here, and I think maybe it's my national ideas is giving me um, another one. I actually don't know where the free Diplo idea is coming from, or policy rather. Leaning tower, very cool. So what this does is this allows us to have an extra policy. So we actually spend more admin on things that would generally be considered more uh, useful, right? So hopefully that explains it. Harsh treatment cost, 15%. That's uh, that's pretty solid. I like that one. All right, so I'm going to give this to Byzantium. Take a look at that. 15, 25. So he's got more defensiveness than we do. Very solid. I will... Um, so I think what I want to do here is bait them into coming into this Korea province. Since I scorched it. And we will be able to thrash them while these guys are getting full occupied in the north. They have 100,000 men, and I can see uh, most of them up here, which is good. It says we're getting siege somewhere. Donde? Let's see here. These guys are protecting trade. Okay, those guys are also hunting pirates, because I was having some freaking pirate issues. So I'm all right with having some of my galleys over there doing that. I actually didn't even realize that I um, I had my galleys over there doing that. So that was dumb. Let's have you guys meet up over here. That's 10 more galleys. Now I'm just kind of letting the war exhaustion tick up over time. And we also have ticking war score. Now this war is going to be expensive. 69, nice. We may actually take Constantinople if we have the ability to. Oh my gosh. Nice. Nice. Oh, they lost? Are you kidding me? Holy smokes. My boy's getting smoked over here. Luckily, it's mostly Austria. So it means nothing to me, actually. Let's have those guys go back and repair, and we'll have these other 10 units pop out here. Wait, what? These guys are not damaged, though. Okay, that's weird. I don't know why they're there. Okay, so now I just need to kind of keep an eye on where their armies are. Meanwhile, we should probably be carpet sieging them a bit. Let's scorch uh, this province here. And basically, if they attack me, you know, I'll uh, scorch a province and, um, you know, do my best to get a siege down as quickly as possible. So let's head on over here. We have a couple of cannons, so that's good. Looks like it's blockaded, which is great for us. Um, I will barrage this fort just because the sooner we win these forts, the better.
Here we go. Scorch it. Basically, the reason why I scorch is just to prevent them from getting the jump on me. Because, you know, I'm already telling you, I'm convinced. Oh, these guys are at war with Poland as well. Oh, nice. Oh, that's really good. I didn't even realize that. Poland is Protestant. How funny is that? No Pope John Paul in this timeline. Okay, let's have you guys head over to Gallipoli. Something like this. Hopefully we win this siege sooner rather than later. They still have 100,000 men, man. They took quality as well. That's um, that's uncommon. Usually they take quantity. And qu quantity Ottomans is so terrifying. I'll tell you what. You want to get some poopy in your pants. Just fight up against the quantity Ottomans. Take a look at my... um. Ooh, ooh. Well, we already have max prestige, so that's not actually useful. I'll take the money. Now, as far as monuments, I have both. I have the La Scala upgraded all the way. There was a lot of speed five <laughs> in this last one with that in the catch up. And then I need to upgrade the Duomo de Milano. And we still have a ton of this coming in. Um, I'm going to spend that and I'm just going to keep on sinking in. I want to get Papal Controller, man. Like, I would love to call a conquest or a, um, what should I call it? A, um, what is it called? A holy war? A uh, crusade against the Ottoman. All right, let's get you guys up here. Let's get these guys down here. Just so if they want to attack on the Gallipoli, they have to uh, cross the strait onto me. Meanwhile, oh my gosh. Well, looks like Constantinople is going to fall pretty quickly in this timeline. Now, oh shoot. All right. Yeah, we got to be careful here. That's a big old stack right there. Hmm. Naples is helping here, but uh, they could definitely jump on me right now. All right. So army reforms or military reform, rather. We could go with army professionalism, morale of armies for 10 years and mil tech cost. Diplo power, na morale of navies, or a little bit of both. And to be honest with you, I'm okay with a little bit of both because the Diplo mana is just as good. But I think we're going to go with the morale of armies just because that is freaking nuts. Uh, take a look at this army quality comparison. Morale, we have more than anybody in the world. And number two is Byzantium. Well, I should probably march, yeah? I probably should consider it. All right. I'm going to hold on to this. The reason being is because I want to be able to see across the strait here. Now, I'm... Let's barrage these walls here. Yeah, I need to get up here because they're probably going to jump on me. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they did. I will barrage these walls as well. They're not jumping on me, huh? Let's send our cannons up there. That'll give us an extra bit of oomph. They might be coming to attack me. They're not. What are they doing, dude? Ottoman's being derpy. It's fine. It's definitely a good thing. They might be jumping on me here. Nope. We have won this siege as well. They deleted the fort in Ankara. So let's get these guys' carpet siege down over here. We have won this province here. I'll give this one to uh, Byzantium for the extra defensiveness. Uh, we'll scorch it as well. Issue with transferring it over to a vassal is you can't see what's going on. I assume that they're, all of their armies are over here. They're still at 95,000 men with some manpower. They still have manpower. What is their... Um, Let's see here. Professionalism is at 42. So, like, realistically, they're not even close to being done on manpower. Okay. Get these guys siege down ASAP. Yeah, they're just marching back and forth. They're being really dumb. Uh, lose the stability or lose some money. I'll definitely just lose the money. Our crown land is so high from deving all that. So, I will... Ooh, hold on a minute. What? It's like no money at all. Well, I'm not going to do that. Okay. So, yeah, we just need to get these guys occupied as, as quickly as possible here. Uh, I'll hold off on tech and make sure that we take it on time. Right. I probably should have been spying on the Ottomans this whole time for spy network or for siege ability. Get you guys down here. Let's have them. Ooh. Hold on a minute. I got to sink that navy. Like, what are they doing? They really... 
Really don't know where they're going with their armies here. I can also get some extra tactics. That'd be really good. They have rebels popping up, which is good. Oh, we want to sell instantly, basically. That's good. As soon as we win, we'll barrage that as well. I've spent so much mill mana and I don't care. Look how cheap this is. Two years ahead of time. Three years ahead of time right now. For 130 mana under base. It's pretty solid. It's very solid, actually. Let's go siege down the lesbians over here in Lesbos, if you don't know. That is what they're called. People from Lesbos are lesbians. Like, not a joke. All right. Ah, they're going to head over to Rhodes. Oh, no, no, no. Very good. They went into Lesbos. Only to hop out and instantly get squished again. Very good. So, 61. And they're still not willing. Oh, what the heck? They have a core on Cyprus, huh? Well, let's see here. Can I give them Byzantium? Nope. Too much. All right. Well, let's give them Athens. Let's give them Corfu. Let's give them, like, everything I can, honestly. Let's have you guys head on over to Cyprus. Like, I'll, I'll give them as much as I can. Oh, right. Uh, Adern is, is one of their provinces as well. So I need to get up there and take that. Let's get a quick Occupy over here. They do have rebels. They're not sieging anything back. So realistically, it looks like this war is basically done. So I will switch this one back over to Byzantium and Byzantium. Let's see here. No, not, not. Adirn. So that's 90. That's doable. And I can also give them, oh, wait. Oh, their mission tree. No, I forgot about the mission tree. Let's go, lads. Let's go. <laughs> They'll get a claims on the entire Balkan region. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about the freaking... Ex <laughs> Flavor Universalis has a unique mission tree for Byzantium. Somebody had even mentioned that in the comments. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot about that. They're a republic, which is hilarious. Chancellor Leon. So yes, we definitely, definitely need to allow this to happen. Uh, this is going to be really strong. Uh, so... Let's take a look here. Yeah, most of these are conquest of this area over here. Raise the fleet, at least six galleys. There's nothing I can do about that. Now let's come down here. Okay, they'll get that very soon. Uh, that one they'll probably get eventually. Has been improved at least three times and at peace with no devastation in their capital. That will give some colonialism. Okay. Oh my gosh, this mission is this mission tree is crazy. Four own provinces with at least five base power. Okay. I am so excited. Like, I cannot put into words how excited I am to help Byzantium overcome. Oh, this is so good. We're totally going to get this, too. All right. So, I need to send these guys over here. Because these, these rebels are on that fort. Oh, they got off. Oh, the Ottomans took it. All right. So, the Ottomans do have a stack over here. Let's see here. As they continue to get full occupied, we'll be much better off. He died at 65, but we can get a 445, which is solid. Actually, a 545. He's only 33. Nice. Downside is, is that we are going to be hurting for um, Republican tradition, and I really can't let it get too low. Um, so we'll buy it down a couple of times. As long as I can still take Miltech, I don't really mind. All right. They're, uh, they're definitely going to will be willing to accept this. This is a really solid peace deal for us. Byzantium is going to grow. No doubt about it. Let's have you guys head on over here. We just need to win a couple more sieges and we're good, right? Might even be able to take some money from them too, because screw them. That's why. They're down to 78. Okay. We've won this siege over here. I don't know where his army is. Like, literally, there's the 60, 37 stack. I don't know where they are. Let's barrage that. 64%. We didn't win it. Oh. 
Ah, we did win it. Very good. I'm okay with burgers losing a little bit of loyalty. It's fine with me. All right, let's get you guys full occupied over here. There we go. They don't need to be coming down here. This is my land here. I'm actually going to come on over and uh, get you guys kicked out of there. That is a st st stack wipe. An 81 war score. I can also have them give me war reps and take some money. How's that? Oh, baby. We should probably start annexing Naples because obviously we're going to want to form Italy soon. But before we do that, I do want to make sure that we are finishing out our mission tree here. Um, okay. Piedmont. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. We're definitely going to need that. And Po Valley. All right. So next war is definitely going to be against Venice. Venice is allied to France. Sadly, it looks like it's time for us to beat up on France. Um, and that will allow me to take Turin as well, which I'm going to need to do. So what I'm going to do here, this might be a weird thing. This might seem weird. I am going to uh, build some ramparts because it's time for uh, Fortress Italy. Because as you can see here, France has a lot of men. And while I do have a huge giant army, and to be honest with you, I'm not worried at all about them. I'm much more worried about, um, you know, just getting overrun. You know, that that's literally just the absolute state of the game is you just see them pile and pile and pile on. So we need 30 dev over here. I thought I had the dev edicts on. Looks like I do not have the dev edicts on for all of them. So I'm just going to keep these edicts on. I don't care. Yeah, it's fine with me. I have some of them on. So Cuneo need to get up to 30 dev. So let's do some Diplo dev there. And then some manpower. And that will build the ramparts because that will give us defensiveness. Okay. And I believe ramparts actually might... This is silk. So a little bit of extra production there is going to be good for us as well. Does ramparts... Ah, oh, shoot. We have the uh, textile industry there. Attrition for enemies... Yeah, I don't know. I think we have to keep that. The, those goods produced are pretty solid there. I also need to upgrade one of these guys, and I'm going to upgrade this one because the coastal centers give you a... Um, what is it called here? A bonus to your... Um, what is it called? Naval morale? Naval tradition decay? Which is... It's fine. It's nice. Uh, naval tradition is okay. You can also upgrade another one. All right, let's um, let's begin the process of annexing these guys, and then uh, we'll we'll click this button here. Thirty-three liberty desire. As long as they stay uh, stay loyal, I don't really care. Yeah, you just placate them. So then that that makes it so they'll finish much faster. Fifty-two, so ten years. It's reasonable. I can do that. We just need to improve our relations with them a couple times, and we're good to go. So we're going to get our armies grouped up over here in time. Just let them march, 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 march. Now, is he going to move his capital back? That's the question. I will gladly steal some of that dev. Let's see here. Should I dev him or march him? So we can totally march them. I'm going to, especially considering that they have defensive ideas. They have discipline as well. They're not like the best, but if you take a look at their... Um, let me see here. Best morale in the world. Oh, they have their army turned off. So that's obviously not super helpful, but let's turn that music down just a little bit. It's a little loud, yeah? All right, lads. But yeah, again, I'm sorry. I dropped the ball. I screwed it up. I, I really don't know. Um, Like, I don't know what I could have done differently aside from what I've done to try to right the wrong. Hopefully you aren't too upset about it. I know a lot of people are going to probably have some issues with it, especially with uh, using the console commands. But my my main goal is mostly just to give you guys the experience that you're looking for and, um, you know, continuing where we left off. And uh, it's like I could sit here and grind off camera for, you know, three, four hours to get the same spot to where we were before because I lost about 30 years or so. It was about 30 years. So, like significant amount of time that I lost. All right, you guys don't need to be drilling. All right, let's attack. 
Uh, right. This rampart is going to take some time. This is fine. I'm going to attack them. You can't kill belligerent your allies anymore. I will call in Austria. This will be for uh, Padova. It'll be for myself. And then I will come over here and siege these guys down ASAP. Let's get over here and wipe out that navy. Get a repair. Come on out. So Pope Man's in the war. Right. I forgot about Pope Man. That's okay. We can base race him. So let's put you guys on defensiveness instead. So that fort is... Uh, they got good defensiveness here. Decent, at least. Let's get our army over here. This is a decent row of cannons. And uh, I don't think they're going to be sticking around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, didn't think so. No. Oh, shoot. I did not mean to do that. That was completely an accident. But it looks like we're going to win anyways. So let's get on over into Savoy. Come on over to Turin. In this war, I'm going to take this, 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 and... Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, I think I can. Issue is I'm not going to be able to take Venice. The coalition might grow, but uh, then again, it might not. So hard to say. We've won the siege of Treviso. Let's get on to Venezia. And uh, I'll be able to take tech. All of them on time. Oh, shoot. They're sieging down the wieners. Yo, Austria, you want to defend your lands, dude? Would probably be useful, right? There we go. Mill tech. I am going to... This is super reckless, but I'm going to do it anyways. They'll get a morale tick and we'll be good to go. Look at our siege over here on Venice. It's going so fast. Maybe it's not. It just looked like it's going fast there. But yeah, these guys are going to lose. All right. We've won that. We have ticking war score. So now we just have to start sieging down uh, France. France does have 62,000 men. And as soon as we take this clay, we'll be, we should be able to ally them again. I mean, they're a very good ally. We don't want to lose them. But we're going to wrap this war up in the next one. Again, I apologize for the mix-up. I hope you guys forgive me. I really do just want to make sure that I'm making content that you guys can enjoy. And uh, so I hope you can forgive me for kind of going, jumping through a couple of hoops to get the series back to where it was. Like I said, it's exactly as close as I can get it without completely sitting down and microwing for like an hour with the console just to change everything around and give provinces to various people and whatever um so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you let me know leave a like on the video subscribe ding the bell and uh don't forget to check out the discord we have a subreddit with a bunch of great stuff over there i definitely recommend you check out the subreddit it is uh linked in the description below just r slash we shoot uh follow me over at twitter and uh if you want to support me my patreon is linked below my videos that's all i got for you for today guys this is chewy shoot and i'll catch you guys later